So I have my blues mixed and I created lighter variations of those colors because if I want it to be darker, I can always go back in darker. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna turn my paper. It's a little more comfortable for me to paint. And I'm going to work from one area and then work my way out. So I've made two different blues. So I'm gonna create this subtle, kind of wet to wet shift uh, blend. And so I'm working from one area, that way I don't let it dry too much to get a ridge in between the two colors. And this is just a really soft blue value. Okay. Always err on the side of lighter rather than darker because you can always go back in and make it darker, but you cannot go back in and make it lighter. I'm just gonna keep moving out. You don't wanna let an edge sit too long or else it's gonna dry and it's, sometimes it's hard to get rid of that sharp edge. So that's why you wanna always also keep mindful of the clock and not to start a large area if we don't have a lot of time in class to do so. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you clouds real quick. So with clouds, I'm gonna create a blotting effect. I'm gonna take a little piece of paper towel. I'm gonna to bunch it up. I have to do this while it's still wet. I can kind of just take and press. And this is really light, so it's hard to see, but I'm creating kind of this, these light kind of areas where I'm picking it up. Okay, and I might wanna do that while it's still a little bit wetter. Let's try that over here. Okay, you wanna be careful not to rub the paper too hard. Make sure you're just pressing you ever find yourself in a situation where your paper is getting kind of worn or thin, um, then stop messing with it while it's wet. Oh, there we go. I waited too long that first time. There we go. So just tap it up and down. Try not to rub. And that just creates a little variation in your light and your dark. Um, so that is how you're going to start. So you're going to start with your lightest values. Okay, working in just the light areas to start. Don't start with your main details. Don't start with your darkest because as you try to do things around them, those darker values are gonna start to seep into your lighter areas. So always thinking light to dark. Um, build your values as you go. Um, that's watercolor is all about layering. When I get to my tree here, I'm gonna have so many different, I'm gonna start with all different light greens and then I'm gonna keep building and building and building. Um, on top of it so that you see so many different colors. So I'm not just gonna paint my tree one shade of green. I'm probably gonna, by the time it's finished, have about eight or 10 different shades.